Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will cover four important chemistry concepts, namely mass number, atomic mass, atomic weight, and molar mass. Given the similarities in the names of these concepts, many students may find them to be confusing sometimes. Therefore, we will go through the following topics. Mass number and atomic number. The difference between mass number and atomic mass. Atomic mass and the atomic mass unit. Atomic weight and isotopic abundance. And the relationship between atomic weight and molar mass. Please note that if you want to skip to a specific section of this video, you can do so by clicking the timestamps included in the description below. Also, a quick reminder, please make sure to subscribe to support the channel. So, without further ado, let's dive in and explore the four concepts. As you may already know, every atom has subatomic particles, neutrons, protons, and electrons. Out of these particles, the neutrons and protons contribute greatly towards the mass of the atom. The mass of an electron, on the other hand, is negligible when compared to that of a proton or a neutron. Now the basic method of denoting an element is as follows. Here, Z is the atomic number and A is the mass number. The atomic number of element X is equal to the number of protons. The mass number of element X is equal to the sum of its protons and neutrons. Essentially, an element's mass number is simply the addition of its protons and neutrons. It's important to note that for a given element, the mass number can change from one atom to another, while the atomic number will remain the same. In other words, even though the atoms for a given element will have the same number of protons, the number of neutrons can change. These types of atoms are called isotopes. For example, carbon has three isotopes. Carbon-12 has six protons and six neutrons. Carbon-13 has six protons and seven neutrons. And carbon-14 has six protons and eight neutrons. Now, you might be thinking, how is mass number different from atomic mass? Essentially, the mass number is a whole number. As described previously as the addition of protons and neutrons. The, the atomic mass, however, is expressed in atomic mass units. But apart from this difference, they are synonymous and are nearly equal to each other. For your information, an atomic mass unit is a measurement unit defined by one twelfth of the mass of a carbon-12 atom. In other words, an atomic mass unit is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the negative 24 grams. The atomic mass unit is nearly equal to the mass of a proton or a neutron. Something to note is that given the existence of isotopes, the mass number and atomic mass of an element varies from one atom to another. Atomic weight, on the other hand, remains constant for a given element. This is because atomic weight is the weighted average of all of the element's isotopes. You may have noticed that a decimal number is placed below an element in most periodic tables. This value is the atomic weight of that element. Now, when it comes to atomic weight, the isotopic abundances for a given element needs to be taken into consideration. Let's consider carbon, for example. Carbon has three isotopes, and these isotopes are present in varying abundances in nature. The atomic weight of the element, therefore, is calculated based on the percentage abundance of these isotopes, along with the individual atomic mass of the isotopes. This is depicted further by the formula for atomic weight shown here. Here, the atomic weight is equal to isotope 1 multiplied by the relative abundance percentage of isotope 1 plus isotope 2 multiplied by the relative abundance percentage of isotope 2 and so on. For carbon, the relative abundance and atomic masses of each isotope is provided below in the table. 
here, carbon-12 relative abundance or isotopic abundance is 98.892% and its atomic mass is 12 AMU. Carbon-13's relative abundance is 1.108% and its atomic mass is 13.00335 atomic mass units. Carbon-14's relative abundance is 2 into 10 to the negative 10% and its atomic mass is 14.00317. Given these values, we will calculate the atomic weight of carbon as follows. 12 AMU multiplied by 0 0.98892 plus 13.00335 into 0 0.01108 plus 14.00317 multiplied by 2 into 10 to the negative 12. This will give us 12.011. Now, you may notice that the atomic weight of carbon, 12.011, is closer to the mass of carbon-12 isotope. This is because carbon-12 isotope is most abundantly present when compared to carbon-13 and carbon-14. Thus, as discussed, the atomic weight is equal to the average mass of an element's atom in atomic mass units. What's unique about the atomic weight is that this value is also equal to the element's molar mass in grams. Therefore, while carbon's atomic weight is 12.011 atomic mass units, its molar mass is also 12.011 grams per mole. This brings us to the next concept, molar mass. Now you may have already heard of the term mole. Just as a refresher, a mole is a measurement unit for the many small subunits like ions, atoms, molecules, etc., that are composed within a given sample. This number is equal to the Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 into 10 to the 23. Since carbon's molar mass is 12.011 grams per mole, the mass of 6.022 into 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon is equal to 12.011 grams. This is what is meant by the concept of molar mass. That brings us to the end of this video. If you found the content to be helpful and would like to learn more, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.